guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Hey, I'm here with a tag video and this is the tag What's On My Lemming List and this was started by Jess from Jess Face 90. So I will link her original video down below for you so you can check it out. And let's hear what's on my lemming list. A lemming list is a list of polishes which I've now written down but it's normally just floating around in my head of what polishes I would really really like to pick up. Similar to Jess I'm not going to mention a ton of indies, um, I'm going to mention mainly mainstream, there are a few indies on here um, and these are just polishes that I either wasn't into nail polish at the time or I didn't get in there quick enough in order and, and for that reason I missed out on. So we're going to go through them and I will insert other people's swatches and I'll be sure that either on the screen there will be the credit of whose picture it is or if you don't see that it'll be in the down bar below for you so let's get started we will do the indie ones first so my first um, lemming is ladies choice by glam polish so it's just a gorgeous turquoise glam polishness you know how they just have this amazing glittery formula that is everything this polish came out in the hairspray collection i believe and i have two or three from that collection but ladies choice was just always sold out wherever i went wherever i went i went to harlow and co i went to rainbow connection ladies choice seemed to be sold out and gone the quickest so i never managed to grab my hands on it and I want it so bad so that is why it's on my lemming list because I would have bought it but it's just I could just I just couldn't wherever I went or whenever I tried I couldn't find anywhere to buy it so ladies choice by glam polish is on that lemming list the other two not surprisingly are from dollish polish and I love dollish polish so so much um and two of these I missed out on basically because um, I can't justify buying one polish from Dollish Polish and having it shipped over here and at the time I'd either just made orders or there wasn't anything else that I really wanted or I didn't have the money um, and the two of them are both um, Walking Dead related polishes so the first one is Walker Bait which is this beautiful like sludgy grungy holographic and the second one is Son of a Dick And that one came out quite recently, and that was just, a, that's just a quote that came from Abraham. And if you watch Walking Dead, Abraham is one of the best characters. He better not be the one that's getting killed off. I hope not, anyway. And that one is another beautiful holographic. So both of them are just gorgeous. And I love that the Walking Dead polishes from most people, anyway, are these sort of darker, dirty colours, but are still so beautiful. So they are my picks. Unfortunately, they're on my lemming list from Dollish Polish. So I have three OPI and two China Glaze, so going on nicely from the zombie theme, we have China Glaze Zombie Zest. Now I want this for a couple of reasons. One, because Miss Holly Berry talks about it all the time um, as one of her favourite China Glazes, and it's another one similar to the ones I just mentioned that are those dirty, ugly colours that are so gorgeous. I have It's Alive by China Glaze, which apparently is similar, but I still feel like I need both, so Zombie Zest is on the list for that reason. Then we have Emerald Sparkle by China Glaze. Now, I know Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails owns this, and it's just a beautiful emerald sparkly colour, like the name says. It came out in the original Wizard of Ooze and Ahs collection, and let's take your mind back, and that was the one that had Dorothy Who in it, it had the, when Ruby Pumps originally came out. Then there was a purple, a silver, a yellowy gold, a pink, and then Emerald Sparkle. But Emerald Sparkle seems to be the elusive one out of the collection. The others I've seen kind of scattered about, but I can never ever see Emerald Sparkle. So that's why it's on the list. Then we're on to the three from OPI. The first one is an obvious choice, it's absolutely Alice. The hype about this polish seems to be reignited recently because of the new Alice Through the Looking Glass collection coming out. Everybody's then cast their mind back to the original. Mouse the Hatter, I wouldn't mind having, but out of the two, Absolutely Alice is just so beautiful. It's a beautiful blue glitter. It probably is nothing special, but the hype is there. It's blue, it's sparkly, I want it. Another one that's probably talking about, spoken about quite a lot when it comes to lemming lists is OPI's Merry Midnight. I've heard a dupe of, the, a dupe of this is always a foul play. It's just a um, dark like purpley colour with a ton of I believe there's red glitter and other purple glitter in there and it's just so stunning I think it, I'm pretty sure it came out in a Christmas collection like again probably like a hundred years ago um, and I know a few people that have it and because they have it 
I need it, it's stunning. I probably, no, even if I had foul play, I probably would still say I wanted Merry Midnight. And last on the list is maybe one that people don't talk about as much. Um, I have all of the Pirates of the Caribbean collection from the OPI, except from Mermaid's Tears. Mermaid's Tears is probably the most pretty colour out of the collection because although I think they're all gorgeous, they're all grey toned pastels, but Mermaid's Tears was still quite a nice light turquoise. It wasn't as greyed out as the other ones. Um, the other part of me is a hoarder that I like to have the full set um, is the other reason why I kind of want it. So yeah, Mermaid's Tears is wrapping up my lemming list. So those were the eight polishes that came to mind. I wrote them down. It took me a few days to kind of dig into my brain and work out which ones that I physically wanted. Um, so let me know down below what your lemmings are on your list or if you're a fellow YouTuber, do the video and then tap, let me know what your video link is down below so I can go on and watch it. Give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys soon.